the nameplate capacity of this mine will be 1.3 million tonnes of ore a year and in the first full year of production 130,000 ounces of gold. So all our effort is on delivering on that promise, delivering on what we have designed and engineered for and making sure we're on budget, on schedule, the quality of work's right and all the different pieces are in place. And to do that it's not just delivering the project but we've also got to build the operational team. You know, because going forward obviously we're not building a mine, we're running one. And currently we're standing in the southern section of the Kamana East deposit. Uh, as of today we will start officially on the mining. We are opening up and doing all topsoil stripping and clear and grub to prepare the entire pit for mining. The first ore bearing material that we'll be extracting from this area will be the oxide cap. Uh, below the oxide is a transition layer and below that is the fresh sulphide material. The oxide that we're finding at the top, most of it is free dig. They might require a little bit of light blasting just to fluff it up so we can dig it easier. From an open pit point of view is, uh, is considered to be a high grade deposit. Our average grade over life of mine will run around about 3.5 grams per tonne. It's a very continuous ore body, 1.8 kilometers from north to south. At the south, the ore body is very, very continuous, and then it's dipping toward the west at the north and dipping toward the east at the south. But it's a sub-vertical ore body, very high grade and very soft material as well, easy to process in the plant. The other aspect of this project which makes it very enjoyable for me to work on is the support and the buy-in that we have from the community. The community have at every stop uh, supported us, have been hungry for news uh, on our progress and are, are looking forward to benefiting from us being here. Our next three months worth of mining up until the first gold pour, we're scheduled to move around about three million tonnes of material. We will be exposing as much ore as we can and then towards the end of September, middle of October, we'll be transporting that ore to stockpile at the Rompad, awaiting first gold production in December. Ultimately, Hummingbird's biggest asset, really, is the quality of this team we've put together. And um, I need to make sure we keep that together and we, we find the next one. <laughs>